Alrighty, hello everybody. Today we are reviewing the Boston Gaming Chair, and let's get into it. So this is actually my first gaming chair on the channel, um, and more to come eventually. Um, going into this, this is not a sponsored video, unfortunately, but uh, if anybody wants to sponsor me in the future and sponsor the channel... Um, that'd be pretty cool, but as of right now, this is not a sponsor. Um, so let's get into it. Gaming Chair, uh, Boston, it's the company. Some of the key factors I was looking for when buying my first gaming chair. Um, I wanted a footrest, and I wanted uh, enough, uh, padding for the chair because this is going to be a chair that I'm going to sit in for long hours and such when I play video games, and when I do my schoolwork and such. So I thought this looked like a good chair. It was only a hundred and something dollars off Amazon. So it wasn't too bad. I'll have a link to the product down below and I'll have some more um, information on it down below. So if you wanna find this for yourself, we're gonna get into it right now. Hopefully it's not too difficult. That looks like what's at the bottom of the chair. Um, I gotta give him props. All right, here is our armrest. All right, that one right there, I don't know. That's hard, but on this side, we do have some nice padding, so that's gonna be good. I guess there's two. There's one there too. All right, so we got our two armrests. We got the bottom thing. We got our leg. now. And notice every other one's attached, so hopefully this guy's not broken. I don't believe it is. It might have just not fit in the box because check that out. That's a nice big box. It's just a tight fit. Um, going back into it. All right, that looks dope. Um, now, one cool thing about this gaming chair, uh, they do come in multiple other colors. Um, so you have your choice if you want it like red or black, um, and such. Now, because my room's gray, I wanted to go with a gray and black. So let's get into it. Now we have the bottom of our chair. This honestly looks pretty big. And I mean that as in like, if I were to sit on this, I'm sure there's still more room. So I hope... Neck pillow, uh, head, uh, that's not the head, uh, footrest. And then this last, just a little pillow. And here's where things get interesting. A box inside a box. Let's open it up and get into it. Alrighty, in the box we have our nice little wheels, nothing fancy. Um, they look like just normal kind of wheels, but I'm not going to be moving up too much. We have our piston or such. Looks like a thing to hide it. And then this is really nice looking set we got in here. Um, all our little screws and bolts. So let's take a look at this. It does come with an Allen key. That's great. Um, that way you don't have to purchase it yourself. And then another important thing. On this one right here, we got our little caps, so when you're done, you can hide some of these uh, things on here. So, like, I think it's just on the back of the chair where some of the screws are going to be. We'll hide it, but we're going to go ahead and build this, and we'll check it out. Another thing to mention when I was talking about functions of the chair, the chair does bend like all the way backwards so you can recline another great thing about the footrest but let's get into building the chair Alrighty, first thing i noticed i did not see an instruction manual other than like you know the little bit of paper that was in there um first big thing um wheels are starting to pop in um unlike all the other legs that leg that was not attached in there. I have to figure that out. I don't want to wedge it in there. That's my big thing. Because um, then you'll break it. It is nice heavy plastic. 
Um, but we're gonna figure out how to get that in there. All right, got that leg in, no problem. Our base is starting to look like a knockoff drone. Let's keep it going. I mean, I understand there's a lot of pieces and all. I just think a instruction manual would be more helpful than these little, that's, that's your instruction right there. That's, I might take another look at that. Maybe these pages are just really thin. If you guys are gonna give us instruction labels, I mean, I understand we're probably gonna throw them away and never look at them. But maybe put more money into your paper. Um, okay, so maybe this might be helpful. It doesn't give you step one, step two, step three, kind of. So we have our leg, then we have our base. So I guess they want us to build the footrest part now. Let's get into it. All right, so now we're installing our rubber rings on our footrest part, continuing along, so we're on step three. So other than our little rubber rings that we just put on here, I don't think anything else actually holds the footrest in on both sides of the footrest. We do have these things, but I'm pretty sure if you pull it out, all that's stopping it from falling off are your little rubber rings. We'll see. Continuing on. All right, here's this nice chunk of metal right here. Weld it. Not too bad. Nice little thing. This is how you recline and lift the chair. Um, only other process I noticed right here on the thing, we do have a substantial amount of oil. Um, but maybe just so it's going to be nice and lubed up. Um, but the only thing I see that doesn't look right on our lever arm is our spring action part on the outside. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but when we put it all together, hopefully everything should work. Um, but I don't think that little spring arm should like be right there. It just doesn't look good like that. All right, working on lining it up, we do have pre-threaded holes we do look like there might be a little piece of brass in there that's threaded so you won't have to worry about drilling into the most likely composite board underneath the foam so let's get into it now i don't know how well the pins are set in here so one thing when you're building your own chair and such um unless you pick for the option for some guy to build it for you um You'll have washers over your nut or bolt, whatever you want to call it. Um, so make sure the washer, little nice metal ring, goes over that and then goes on it. And then when you're tightening it, make sure you do not over tighten it because you could loosen it out and that's not good. So just hand tighten it with the Allen key, provide it, and you should get it done. All right, once we have put in all four screws on our action arms by the base, uh, one thing I noticed, although the preset holes are like that, um, when we slide our footrest in, we do have a little bit of area here, so that might be a little weird, but we'll see. Um, that step wasn't too complicated. We're going to move on to the next, and I think all it is is just setting this little ring on top of that guy. So let's get into it, and then we're going to move on to the headrest and the arms, and that doesn't seem too complicated, right? All right, starting to look like a chair. Um, one thing, everything balances on this little part right here. Um, there's nothing that screws it into the top piece, so both of them are floating. So if you decide to pick up the chair and move it somewhere, you're going to have an issue with the top coming off from the base. Um, another thing, now that we have our um, gas lift in it, we can adjust our lift. So... 
trying to see. I forget going. Um, it might be oiled up in the future. I might help it. Um, but now you can lift the chair down, lift the chair. Really, um, you'll probably lift it by hand because once you have your weight on it, you're crushing the um, gas lift. But that way you can raise and lower the chair to your preference. So looks like we got a little bit of mud on there. Can't tell what it is, but so far coming along now on to the headrest and we'll see how that comes together all right nice little feature on the back of the chair we have this little velcro part with our threaded holes now i can't tell looks like just composite board or such behind it um might be a little metal ring or something behind that with threads um but there are already threaded holes and we have the little velcro so you can hide it um, so now you got to figure out how to put this on to here. So I'd imagine each four holes with this will line up to here. This might be a difficult process. This is the time if you have a um, friend, you might need their help. Uh, but we'll take a look at the instructions because it might be this piece right here that holds it up. I can't tell, but on here, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, that'd be 11. Okay, so right here it says 11. So we need to figure out how to attach this metal piece or iron piece um, onto here, and then we'll attach it to our chair. It's probably a good solid five pounds, maybe 10. Um, a nice iron piece. So it's definitely not a cheap piece of metal that's gonna bend over time. Um, so that is one thing good, is they put some quality thought into their products. All right, good start. Our holes have lined up with the back of the chair. Now we have our bolt and our washer, and we're just gonna get all of these bolted up. Alrighty, we are now attaching the back of our chair into the part on the base, I guess you would call it. Figure out how to do this. Alrighty, we have all our holes lined up except the bottom two. And it does not look like there are bottom two holes. So... Moving forward, it looks like just these three holes right here. So I'm looking through everything, and it looks like I might have an extra washer. Unaware yet on that. Um, metal gaskets is F. Doesn't look like any of the rest instructions have the letter F on it. So... Either we did something wrong or we might have got an extra washer. So what I'm going to do is put the washer here on our middle one um, just for added support um, because it doesn't say where to use it unless. Let's double check. Okay, no, never mind. Um, in the instructions, which are included, they're just cheap paper, you know, um, it says on our metal arm, to add our washers so i'm gonna double check on that and make sure everything gets a washer and we're gonna move on from there continuing okay so looking at it we do have a washer on each one nice little piece of velcro to hide that metal so they either throw an extra washer in or something i don't know it tells you, you get eight washers um so We'll just throw it on the back of the chair. It's fine. It's not hurting anything if it's not on there. Um, we do have these big washers, though. Um, I don't know. Is that what they call a metal gasket? Okay, there's a metal gasket times four and a metal gasket times eight. Um, maybe we're supposed to use these on that. I don't know. It's probably for the armrest, I'd imagine but let's get it going. Halfway there. All right, go through the progress so far. Starting to look real nice. It definitely looks big. Um, So if you're in a full grown adult, you could most likely sit in it. Cause I'm sure 
My skinny uh, butt will only be able to fit this area right here and then your arm. So I'm going to sit on it for the first time. Uh, yeah, see, I'm pretty skinny. Um, we do have our armor, or not our armor, so our leg rest pulled it out all the way. Looks pretty firm. Got my feet up and relaxing. Able to recline because I haven't set the thing. So now we're in fully recline mode. Not bad, not bad. Not a lot of wiggle room on the feet. I mean, you still have this much um, for your feet, but it's just so your legs can kind of be extended. Um, I think all we really have left to do is to put our armrest on and then we'll be done. It definitely looks really big in the room, but I'm sure once we build the desk that in the next video, if you're interested, it's gonna look good. All right, just like getting candy from a thing on Christmas. Um, last thing right there. All right, on the chair at the bottom, on the chair on the side, your armrest. You can tell what's left and right because of where the part is. Should go something like this. Let's get to it. All right, now, like I was saying with these little caps, these ones go on the arms. That way we hide our bolts. You can leave them in if you choose. If not, this cap will just hide that bolt. Um, press firmly and it should go in. Chair is starting to come together. I think all we have left is the next arm and we'll be done. We're gonna throw these little caps in. Um, already one on there. Just two screws for the armrest. Nice looking armrest. Um, nice sturdy build, just like our rest, same material. But I do like the added fact where there's a little bit of padding on our armrest. That's a lot better than having just straight plastic. So. Okay, so we're going to have to redo our arms. Reading through the instructions, this little tick mark right here looks like a one. That is what this is. So these go in between our arms. And then I think we'll be done. And then we have our pillows too over there. Right there. No. All right, pretty much on the last step. Now we're just adding our pillows on the small pillow. I believe the headrest, what it is. Um, it has this little strap-like thing on it right next to the zipper. Um, so, should just slide right over the back of the chair.